Okay guys, welcome back to another one of my YouTube shorty videos. Today I wanted to show you guys a shortcut that I use a lot, but it's not all that shiny or interesting or exciting, so I haven't uh, done a video on it yet. But I use this a lot. I show it to my students when I teach all the time, so I think it's useful. I think it's important to know, and I wanted to show you guys this. Okay, so basically what this is is one of the keyboard commands focus mode shortcuts. And if you guys are not familiar with keyboard commands focus mode, I believe I touched upon it in another video. So I'm gonna go look for that and try to link it here on the screen using a card. So before we begin, you'll wanna just make sure that keyboard commands focus mode is on. And that's just by making sure that this little square here is lit up yellow. Okay, so basically the shortcut is that on your keyboard, the P, the semicolon, the L, and the apostrophe all map to arrows. So the P is an up arrow, the semicolon is a down arrow, the L is a left arrow, and then the apostrophe is gonna be a right arrow. So this is just another way to travel around it within your session. So the way that I like to use this a lot is for example, um, I actually use this on my YouTube video. So I'll import my video for post-production for audio. And what I'll do is I'll import the audio with the video. And then what happens is I have an audio track that doesn't have anything on it. And then I have my template audio track that I'll have a bunch of plugins here. So what I actually do is I then just highlight the entire audio track for the video before I even start doing anything. And then let me just rearrange this so you can kind of see. So this will be like the imported audio track and then this this would be like my template track with a bunch of plugins here. So basically what I'll do is I'll highlight that audio, I'll hit Command C, and then I'll hit the semicolon key to travel down. And so now what happens is I am perfectly lined up. So this highlight is gonna be in exactly the same spot as the highlight above it. So then when I hit Command V, I have preserved the exact location of that audio. And you'll see here that it just copied one of the channels of my stereo track onto this mono track. But when I actually do this, it's I would have a stereo track here as well. But then what I would do is just I'll just hit back up with my P key and then just delete that. So it can be pretty handy for uh, moving things around and preserving their exact location, right? Another thing you can do with this is you can hold shift and hit the semicolon key or the P key, right? To travel up and down and highlight whole chunks of tracks. And then if I use the apostrophe key, I can travel over and make a highlight that way. I can also use the L key to travel to the left. And you'll notice that these L and apostrophe keys kind of work the same way as the tab key in Pro Tools. So they travel to the different breakpoints. So I'm hitting L and it travels to the left there. And if I go into tab to transients, it actually continues to behave the same way tab works, right? So as I hit the apostrophe key, this is gonna travel over and it's gonna find those transient points. And I'm not sure if it's using the same exact requirements as tab, it probably is, I don't actually know. So maybe someone can tell us in the comments below, but it operates about the same way depending on what mode you're in. And I believe I have a video that's all about tab to transients explaining that. So if you want an explanation of that, I will put a link using one of the cards up here on the screen. Cool, so that's basically it. Again, one of the big ways that I use this is I will copy and paste audio regions or clips around using this uh, P and semicolon function. So I definitely use the P and the semicolon a lot more than I use the L and the apostrophe function. But it's really handy for traveling around and preserving your exact location on the tracks because you know if you click here, you can click down below, but you probably moved over slightly. Like you can see I kind of moved over slightly there, right? So the P and the semicolon, they're great for uh, preserving your exact location on the timeline. Cool, so that's about it for this shorty video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a like, tell your friends about my channel, check out my Patreon, it will be in the description below. And I'll be coming out with my standard length video next week and I come out with videos every Wednesday. So thanks for watching guys. Okay.